What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Uh, today we're focusing on uh, Linda Cohn, uh, ESPN Sports Center anchor, putting on the goal ta- the goalie pads, and uh, taking her talents to the Hartford Wolf Pack on Friday. Uh, it, it's going to be great for Linda to dress me. First of all, I'm a huge Linda Cohn fan. Actually, I just downloaded her book on my iPad. Um, I'm going to finish reading Bobby Orr's book. All due respect, Linda. Got to put number four first. Um, but, you know, hey, good for her. I mean, um, big big New York Rangers fan, uh, Mike Richter fan. And, um, you know, my favorite Linda Cohn moment actually happened at the NHL trade deadline. Obviously, the Ken Griffey Jr. debacle happened that day. But she got told that the Penguins had acquired Ryan Kessler. And, obviously, they hadn't. And she blurted it out in the air. And it was kind of it was the beauty of live TV is what it was. So, um, you know, that's, that's that. But, um, again... It's awesome. You know, Linda, you got a butterfly. Make sure you take care of the top of the net. What happened with me is I got stuck in that one game of mites. And first of all, I got the attention span of, you know, I, I don't have a long attention span, let's call it. So whenever whatever the puck in the other zone, I'd be zoned off in a space. And I think one shot might have beat me from the red line. I gave up, I think, like six goals and seven shots. So I stopped the puck. Look at it that way. I mean, you know, the, the eight year old kid, I mean, you know, like that one save. But, you know, you, you got to, uh, you can't get beat short side. That's the other thing. Um, I just know that playing street hockey goalie. I always, you know you cheat over. You know that short side. You know, the better shooters are gonna, um, you know, get you. And you know there's some pretty talented New York Rangers prospects down there. You know J T Miller and uh, the pride of Boston, uh, Chris Bork. Well, was it Ryan Bork? Excuse me. Um, obviously both the son of the great number seventy-seven Raymond J Bork. But um, you know I, I again. It's gonna be an amazing experience. I'd hope. I hope ESPN is like the the helm, the goalie helmet cam for Linda, because I think that'd be pretty cool. And um, you know, people talk about you know women in hockey. I mean, the the woman there, the Canadian woman, played a game uh, an exhibition game for the Lightning in was it 94, 90, 93, 94. Granted, it was Phil Esposito doing what Phil Esposito does, which is trying to be Pat Riley in terms of um, hyping stuff up. But you know, it's um. It's gonna be cool, and hopefully this helps ESPN remember that hockey's this amazing sport. I mean, God bless Linda and Bucci uh, for you know putting keeping hockey at the forefront, uh, regardless of you know ESPN's other motives. But yeah, you know, I'd like to see you know you can only watch so many LeBron dunks. You know, ooh ooh, Dw- Dwight Howard dunked the basketball. He's seven feet tall. Is so what he's supposed to do? I mean, you know, if I was seven feet tall, probably still would be able to dunk. But actually, I'd be an amazing defenseman. Uh, at seven feet tall, but actually, a little aside here, Kevin McHale uh, played hockey growing up and wanted to be an NHL player, but uh, I think it, it, his parents, you know, at the age of like 12, said, you know, you weren't a size 85 skate, Kevin, so he tried out, played basketball, and I, I think he had an okay career, speaking of big men, Dwight Howard and Kevin McHale's connection there. Anyway, that's our next episode of The Power Play with CJ. Best of luck, Linda, and stay tuned for episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.